Hi, I'm Chris Brooks. Welcome to Travel World. Have you ever traveled to a country with a completely different culture? If you have, you probably know what culture shock is. It's a feeling of confusion you get from suddenly being in a new environment. The traditions and customs may seem strange. Expectations are different. You don't know exactly what you're supposed to do. You may even be a little bit afraid of making a mistake. In time, you get used to everything. But when you get home, you often have some interesting and perhaps humorous stories to tell about your cross-cultural experiences. Today, we're going to Latin America to meet some people who've traveled abroad and hear about their experiences crossing cultures. First, let's go to Brazil. Ah, yes. Rio de Janeiro. Enjoying a spectacular view of Sugarloaf Mountain is our lucky reporter, Fatima Nolan. Hi, Chris. I'm here in beautiful Rio de Janeiro. Like everywhere else in the world, people here like to travel abroad and have some interesting stories to tell. Let's talk with some of them. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Camila and I was born in Stockholm, Sweden, but I moved to Rio when I was four, and I've lived here ever since. Two years ago, I went to Sweden, and I lived there for a year. What did you notice that was different? Well, the first thing that I noticed when I got to Sweden was how people greet each other. It was completely different, because here in Brazil, we kiss on the cheek, and they shake hands. So I went to kiss, like, and they, oh my goodness, what's going on? And they felt like you're invading my space or something like that. It was strange. This is Fatima Nolan from Rio de Janeiro. Back to you, Chris. Thanks, Fatima. Now, let's cross the South American continent to Lima, Peru, where our reporter Denise Oregui is standing by. Denise? Thanks, Chris. We're here at the beautiful Plaza de Armas. This is a favorite spot for tourists and the people of Lima. Let's talk to some people here about their cross-cultural experiences. Hey, what's your name and where are you from? My name's Andrew and I'm from the United States. Have you noticed any difference in the way people do things here in Peru? Yeah, one thing that I've really noticed is the public transportation system is really different. Because here, the bus system is private. And so there's all these people trying to get you on their bus because the way they make money is by getting as many people as possible to get on their bus. So the whole time they're yelling, get on my bus, get on my bus. And sometimes it's not the bus that you want to be getting on. This is Denise Arregui here in Lima, Peru. Back to you, Chris. Thank you, Denise. Now reporter Hillary Garcia is standing by in Mexico, our final destination for today. What do you have for us, Hillary? Thanks, Chris. I'm here in beautiful Tepoztlan, Mexico, a town that both Mexican and foreign tourists like to visit. Let's talk with a few of them about their cross-cultural experiences. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Delfino Valdez and I was born in Reynosa, Mexico and now I live in the United States. Tell us about your cross-cultural experience. I am married to an American woman and she was making me lunch one day and she brought me a soup and a sandwich. Once I was done with it, I said, okay, honey, where's the rest of it? And she said, that was it. Well, it is customary in my culture to have a huge meal in the middle of the day with the beans, the rice, the meat. So needless to say, I was very surprised. This is Hillary Garcia in Tepoztlan, Mexico. Back to you, Chris. Until next time, this is Chris Brooks for Travel World, bidding you bon voyage. <laughs>